We are getting ready to wrap up our series, actually on Bling. And uh, if we could get the, the lesson title up on the screen, because we are getting ready. <coughs> what, what are you doing? Can I play my iPod? What? Can I play my iPod? Your iPod? Yes. What? He, he wants to play his iPod during service? Yes. But, but I, I'm sorry, we're, 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 we're having chapel right now. Maybe. No, I still want to play my iPod. You want to play your iPod? Yes. But I, but we're, we're having chapel. I, yeah. I still want to. Help. But, but uh, you, you can listen to your iPod, right? Like, like after school, you can listen to it. Now. You want to listen to it right now, during chapel? Yeah, mister. You, you have one with you? All right, well, anyway, we, uh, uh, I'm gonna have to... Let's do it now! Let's do it now! Uh, wow, he wants us to... Well, what, what, what song do you have there? Love Story. <laughs> Love Story? Wow, that is been Taylor Swift. <laughs> wow! Who to thunk it? All right. Well, uh, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to listen to that later. Uh, you know. Yes, I'm gonna have to ask you to, to leave the stage. I don't know. I don't know what that was all about. Anyway, we are talking about bling and maybe the things like iPods that might uh, get in the way of God. Maybe we're putting the, the wrong emphasis on. At least this one is friendly. What? Oh, she's smiling. Can you put this in movie in for me? What? What is this? What is this movie? You you want to put in a movie right now, like in, on the big screens or? Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. But why? Why? Why don't you want to listen to chapel? Because I want to watch my movie. <laughs> wow. So what what movie is that anyway? Narnia, Prince Caspian. Oh. Narnia, Prince Caspian. Good movie. Good movie. And I'm sure Taylor Swift is awesome too. But hey, uh, no, but not right now. Not not during chapel. I want you to put it in now. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to ask you to, to leave the stage for now. Uh, maybe we can maybe we can watch it. You know, another time we can we can watch the movie. It's a good movie. But yes, thank you very much. Uh, okay, leaving me hanging. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I, I'm gonna have to talk to them after after service. I, I don't know. I don't know what what's happening. Jana's letting them go too much. <laughs> but anyway, we anyway we're wrapping up our series on bling, and uh, we're gonna be talking. Can I play my video game? Play your video game. What? You have a video game with you? Yes. Uh, which one? Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy, yes. All right, good, good game, I'm sure, good game. But uh, not, not, not during chapel. Why would you want to do it during chapel? Uh, because it's fun. How many of y'all think it's fun? It is fun, it is fun. Well, but, but not right now, not, not right now. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to ask you to go, but, but you still want to play it? Or you look kind of disappointed. I am. I am. Well, I'm sorry. Well, we have some tissues that we can we can lend you. Thank you. All right. Oh man, I hate to break his heart, but <laughs> anyway. All right. Let's give them a hand clap. Let's give them a hand. Clap. All right. Well, anyway, what we're talking about today, uh, and what we've been talking about for the past three weeks, past four weeks, is bling and the things that that maybe we can give. And this week we're talking about. The things maybe that can get in the way and distract us from God, even if they're good, even if they're they're fun and, and everything like that. We are talking about, let's let's clear our throats, let's go. <clears throat> let's say oh, man, we have some coughs here. Alright, everybody say what you crave. Oh, uh, we can do better than that. Let's say what you crave. It's fading fast. Only pleasing God. Will last. Okay, now what will last? Pleasing who? And you know, what you crave, that's what you want. Those are the things that you want, and sometimes the things that we want can get in the way of following God. So we, we gotta put God number what? Number one. And then all those things we can add those later, but number one is who? God. Alright, so only pleasing God will last. Forever and and you know 
Sometimes, sometimes. How many of y'all, you, you've, you've, you've gotten saved? You're, you're a Christian. Raise your hand. How, how many of y'all, man, you, you, when you were a Christian, you thought, man, I want, I want to go to heaven. I want to, you know, heaven's going to be cool. There's going to be food there. There's going to be streets of gold there. There's going to be trees to climb in and the river of life. I can swim in the river of life and all that. And that's all true. But how many of y'all know that you, you don't just get saved just to get stuff. You don't just get saved because, you know, you, you, you pray to God and you say, oh, I want this for Christmas, and then you get it for Christmas, and you say, thank you, Lord, for giving me this. No, God is not just the person that gives us something. We, we actually follow him because we what? Because we love him, not just because he gives us stuff, right? But, and he does give us stuff, but he gives us stuff because he loves us us. And you know what? Because he loves us, we should love him back. And you know, only pleasing God will last forever. All that stuff, all the iPods in the world, when you get to heaven, God is not going to say, man, you got that Taylor Swift song. That's awesome. No, he's not going to say that. He's going to say, what did you do that lasted? What did you do for me? How many of y'all have done, ever done something for God? Well, those are the things that are going to be remembered forever. Those are the things that they're going to be up in heaven. They're going to be cheering for you. They're going to be, when you get up to heaven, they're going to be having a good time because of all the things that you did for God. So, all right. Now, how many of y'all have a Bible right now? Y'all have a Bible? Anybody? Can I, can I borrow somebody's Bible? Let's see. Somebody that's sitting up straight. Somebody that's not talking. Let's see. Oh, well, can we get the house lights up uh, a little bit all the way? Like, there we go. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me get, let me get your Bible. Okay, thank you. All right, now this, this is a nice Bible here. Now, how many of y'all know how old that the Bible is? The Bible is thousands of years old. How many of y'all can think of another person or another book or anything that is, you know, 10,000, 15,000, whatever years old, however old it is, that... You can, you can think of. How many of y'all can think of another? Well, a, a lot of, a lot of the, the people that were around in Jesus' time, we don't know them. We haven't, we, we're, not, we're not thinking about them. The, the books aren't being sold. How many of y'all know what the, the biggest seller of all time for, the, for books is? The biggest bestseller? That would be the, the Bible. And you know why? Do you know why? Because you know what? These words inside of the Bible are the word of are the Word of God. And you know what? The Word of God is going to last forever. And you know what? All the, all the books maybe that were written, that they, they've, they, a lot of the books that were written thousands of years ago, they're lost. We don't know. We don't even know what those books are. But this book right here, this book is going to last forever. That's what the Bible says, and it's, it's actually come true. This book is never going to go away, and it's going to keep selling more than any other book because the things that you do for God and the words that God has spoken to you, those are going to last forever. How many of y'all want to do something for God that's going to last forever? It's going to make an impact forever. Well, you know what? Just, just, just looking at the Bible, you can see that the Word of God can do something for you forever. So, let's give it up for Abby. She gave me her Bible. for the. Let's give it up. Come on, come on, come on. All right, let's give her a hand clap. Come on, come on. All right. Woo! Let's give, let's give her more of a hand clap than that. That was kind of, yeah, that was kind of shaky. Okay. <laughs> All right, so those who do what their sinful old selves want to do cannot please God. Now, everybody listen up. We are going to pretend that we are back 2,000 years ago, Jesus' time, and he is fasting. He has been fasting. We're acting like we're watching Jesus right now. Everybody say, we're looking at Jesus. All right, we're looking at Jesus. He's been fasting for 40 days, 40 nights. He has not eaten anything in that time. He has not eaten one thing in 40 days and 40 nights. And so he's in the wilderness. He's, he's probably praying. He's, he's getting closer to God. He's thinking about God. And the devil comes up to Jesus. And he says, why don't you? Let, let's act like these are some stones. Like these are some stones here. There were some stones. And he was out in the wilderness where there's rocks and trees and everything. And the devil said, if you will turn these rocks into bread... Uh, then, you know, go ahead, and turn the, go ahead and turn these rocks into bread and then you won't be hungry anymore. And, you know, how many of y'all think he was tempted to do that? He was, uh, he was tempted. He didn't give in. But the Bible says that he was tempted to do that. And, 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 then, and then he says, no, man does not live by bread alone, but he lives by every word that comes out of God. And what, what, is, what does man live by? 
God, God, yeah, God is the most important thing. And you know what? And then the devil took him uh, to see all the kingdoms of the world, all the palaces, all the, uh, all, all the buildings that were nice, made of, you know, ha having the gold and all the silver and everything. And the devil said to Jesus, if you will bow down and worship me, I will give you all this gold, all this treasure, all this stuff. And all you got to do is say, you know, to say that, you know, I'm the king, I'm the Lord, worship me. And so Jesus said, no. He says, the Bible actually in some translations it says that he said, Get out of here, Satan. How many of y'all have ever been tempted by something? And you said, you said, no. How many of y'all have ever done that? You've been tempted by something that, that maybe kept you from God? And you said, no. Well, you know what? We have to say no to the devil. We have to say no. Now, maybe, maybe in some of our lives, let me get a volunteer. Let me get somebody. Oh, let's see. Mm, look at you. Yes. All right, maybe in some of our lives, maybe the devil has, has told us, you know what, you've seen that movie five times today, and you haven't prayed any, you haven't read the Bible, but you know what, watch it one more time, because that movie's fun. And you know what, the devil's keeping you away from who? God. But you know what, when you do what your sinful old self wants to do, you can't please God. And that's what the memory verse says. Now, what is your name, sir? Evan. Evan? Okay, now, Evan, let's pretend that... that the devil tells him, you know what, you've seen that movie, and you've, you know, you've watched it five times today, and it's a three-hour movie, so, you know, you've watched it for 15 hours, and you haven't slept, but, but I want you to, I want you to watch it one more time, because it's an awesome movie, and you know what, you can pray tomorrow, you can pray the next day, you know, you don't have to pray every day, you know, you can, you can, but you know what, that means God is not number one, if he's going to do that, and guess what, you know what he needs to say, he needs to say, get away from me, no! Say no. No. Yes. All right. He needs to say no. And you know what? Sometimes when your friends or, or whoever comes up to you and they want you to do something and you haven't prayed, you haven't spent any time with God, what do you need to tell them? No. No. Because God is number one. God is number one. And when you get to heaven, you're going to know all the things that you did for God and that they made a difference. So let's give it up for Evan as he returns to his seat. Thank you very much. Okay. Now. I want everybody to bow your heads and close your eyes as we, as we get ready to close here. I want everybody to know something. That, you know, maybe, maybe when you became a Christian, maybe you wanted to become a Christian because you know that God gives you things if you obey Him. Maybe you became a Christian because, you know, you know that, that this is a, a nice uh, school or, or this is a nice church and you want to come here and you want to, you know, or, 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 or you want to just uh, see all the lighting and you want to you have fun and you want to do that. And that's all good. And you know what? I have a lot of fun here. I have, you know, I have a lot of fun joking and, and talking and doing all the things. But, but you know what? Number one in our lives should be God, should be following God. And you know, it shouldn't be your motivation just to get things. It should be following God should be number one. You should be listening to what God tells you, and then you need to do what he tells you.